Hello friends, welcome to Dreamweaver video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how do we create new sites inside Dreamweaver. We understood how do we create new folders, new HTML files, new CSS files and new JavaScript files inside them. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how do we switch between document weaves. In Dreamweaver, we can weave a document with respect to design, with respect to code as well as both. Let me go to Dreamweaver. I double click to open the index.html page. You can see that index.html page is open. At present, we are seeing the index.html page with respect to coding as well as with respect to designing. To see an HTML document with respect to code, we can go to view menu, say code. Let me go to Dreamweaver. I go to view menu, say code. You can see that now we are seeing index.html page with respect to only coding. To see an HTML document with respect to design, go to view menu, say design. Let me go to Dreamweaver. I go to view menu, say design. Now we are seeing index.html with respect to only designing. To see an HTML document with respect to code as well as design, go to view menu, say code and design. Let me go to Dreamweaver. I go to view menu, say code and design. Now we are seeing index.html page with respect to code as well as design guys. That is how you can see a document in different weaves. We can perform same operation with the help of code, design and split buttons available in document toolbar. If I go to Dreamweaver, here we have the document toolbar guys. If I click on code, we can see an HTML document with respect to code. If I click on design, we can see an HTML document with respect to design. If I click on split, we can see an HTML document with respect to code as well as design guys. Let's proceed further and get more information. In split weave, we can split weave horizontally or vertically by enabling or disabling split vertically command in the view menu. If I go to dream viewer, if I go to view menu, here we have split vertically. At present, our document is split horizontally. We have code view and the design view one below another. If I say view split vertically, now you can see that our document is divided vertically. On the left hand side, we have code view. On the right hand side, we have design view. I go back to view menu, say split vertically. Now you can see that we have split the HTML document horizontally. Code view and design view are one below another, not one beside another. If I say view split vertically, now you can see that code view and design view are side by side. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Let me go back. In vertical split view, we can place the design view on the left or on the right by enabling or disabling design view on left command in the view menu. Let me go to dream viewer. At present, you can see that design view all is on the right hand side. If I say view design view on left, you can see now we have design view on the left hand side, code view on the right hand side. I go to view menu, disable design view on left. You can see that now, design view is on the right hand side of the code view. Let me go to view menu, say split vertically disable. Now, we have split horizontally. In horizontal split view, we can place the design view on top or on the bottom by enabling or disabling design view on top command in view menu. Let me go to dream viewer. I go to view menu, say design view on top. Now, design view is on top, code view is at the bottom, right? I go to view menu. Disable design view on top. Now design view is at the bottom, code view is at the top. So that is how you can weave an HTML document in different weaves and you can place the design view on top or bottom, left or right by going to view menu guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Dreamweaver. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.